Good day people, this is uh, Mohit and uh, today I'm going to give a tutorial, uh, deliver a tutorial on um, making a neat looking spry accordion. Uh, what is uh, a spry accordion? We'll see that. I think uh, when you see uh, a spry accordion on the screen you'll understand what a spry accordion is. Let's start by creating a new HTML file. Right. I go on to insert and uh, say spry spry accordion. Dreamweaver wants me to save the file. I'll save that. Uh, gives me a default file name of uh, untitled one. I'll accept that. Um, it, it, it shows up a, a basic spry accordion, which has two panels. Uh, a basic two panel spry accordion, bare bones spry accordion. Let's uh, inspect. Let's preview in Firefox what exactly we have right now. Let's save. And uh, Dreamweaver uh, wants me to copy dependent files. It creates two new files, the spryaccordion.css and spryaccordion.js JavaScript file. And I'll save that as well. Okay, now this is uh, my browser, Mozilla Firefox, and this is the basic two panel browser. Two panel browser, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, for starters, uh, it's, it's too wide. I, I don't want these colors. Uh, I want to beautify this. I want to give it some meat, some juice. Uh, not happy with this, so, and that's what we are set out in the first place to make a neat-looking spry accordion panel or a widget. All right, so let's get back to Dreamweaver. Okay, down below here, uh, you you can add a panel, you can delete a panel, so you you could have a three, four, five, six panel, etc., etc., a spry accordion uh, widget, or you could uh, just just keep the the two. Uh, Panel spry coding widget. Uh, for uh, this example, I just confine myself to two panel spry coding widget. Right. Um, now, now this is really really important. Okay. Uh, think of this uh, analogy. A spry accordion is is like your apartment, and you need to alter uh, the colors of the walls, uh, uh, the the floor, the ceiling. Uh, the dimensions of uh, the apartment to make it look uh, appealing to your guests. Similarly, uh, there are certain rules right here on the right hand side, right, that govern the way the spry accordion widget looks at the moment. Uh, there are in all 11 rules that govern specific areas, specific regions of this spry accordion panel. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven right and uh, different uh, rules uh, control different uh, properties of this widget for example accordion panel tab uh, controls this tab right this tab here where you can see the cursor and uh, the accor dot accordion panel content controls the content area where the content is supposed to go okay so uh, the hover controls the color of the hover of the text uh, by which I mean when you hover over the text let me get to the live view and let me hover over the moment I hover my uh, mouse pointer over uh, label 2 or label 1 you see it changes uh, the color and goes uh, becomes something like a dirty a gray, um, dark gray kind of a color. So these 11 rules are responsible for the spry accordion widget looking the way it is looking right now. I'll come off the live view. That's because whenever, uh, whenever I want to make a change to the spry accordion widget, I cannot do so in uh, the sorry, the the live view. All right. Uh, let's start uh, bending these rules uh, then one by one so that we'll uh, get what we want a beautiful looking spry accordion widget all right let's mess around with this rule uh, double click and uh, box 400 pixels enter cool uh, leave the second rule as it is for the moment We'll jump onto the third rule which says uh, dot accordion panel tab double click uh, I'll leave uh, the font family as it is uh, 
type as it is I'll, I'll come on to the background and I'll um, I'll want to include a, a background image for the tab this this rule controls the tab rule definitions for the tab so I'll click on the browse button I'll um, go into my images folder I'll pick up an image here this image and say OK and uh, then I'll go back to type and then I'll, I'll change the color of the font since uh, the tab is now black in color we'll need the text to be white in color right so also I would want to change something else I would want some padding out here wouldn't want the top padding wouldn't want the right padding wouldn't want the bottom padding but I want uh, the left padding so that the text is displaced by five pixels from the left hand side uh, border I'll say OK and uh, can you see the changes here I'll, I'll uh, check out in Firefox preview save the changes yes uh, now this is Mozilla Firefox once again and there you are okay so we have a, a black colored tab with white colored text let me get back to um, Dreamweaver and uh, now I want my hover to be not dirty gray or dark gray I want it to be yellow so let's uh, change uh, some some d definitions of properties here all right uh, dot accordion panel tab hover now this is uh, this uh, specific CSS style a rule is responsible for the uh, the grayish uh, uh, hover uh, I'm going back to the live view to just show you the hover right now and how it is uh, undesirable this is not what we want we don't want it to be um, uh, you know the color to be so close to black so it gets lost in the background we don't want that excuse me I'm sorry there was someone at the door so I had to uh, I had to attend okay I'm back now so wait, what was I saying yeah I don't like uh, the 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 dark gray hover I need to change that so I'll uh, get to the right rule that that controls that so the dot accordion panel tab hover says the color right now for the hover is uh, a hash 555 five, five. Um, a hash 555555 five, 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 five. so need to change that this is uh, not the color that I want I want yellow no, that should be fine right what else do I want to change uh, I, I want uh, the hover to look a little dramatic mm, so I'll get onto the box I'll, uh, I'll have some padding here uh, let's say 10 pixels and say okay now uh, I'm already in the live view and let's check out okay this has uh, been altered but this still is uh, a darkish gray so I'll, I'll jump down I'll go one step down uh, where it says dot accordion panel open dot accordion uh, panel tab hover and uh, it's got the same color the hash 555555 five, 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 five. I'll, I'll change that to yellow let's check out now cool uh, so the hovers are working fine and it's being displaced by 10 pixels because I've added uh, the 10 pixels of padding so, so that uh, the hover looks a little dramatic okay um, the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of all the borders so I'll go get back uh, to the first rule that is the dot accordion rule and these are the properties down below um, I can get the properties by double clicking or else uh, the properties are here down below so I'll disable the borders right click disable 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 cool I'll check the preview in Firefox right so but there are still some borders remaining I can see that there's a border here and there's a border here so let's uh, get back to Dreamweaver and let's see if there are any more borders and I'll disable them as well disabling really is good it's cool uh, you may want to get uh, the border back so there's a bottom here at uh, the border here I'll disable this one and there's a border here I'll disable this one as well okay see what what else I could have done is I could have just uh, selected this uh, row and press the delete button or else I could have just uh, clicked 
on the delete CSS property uh, icon and uh, that would have taken the property away uh, but uh, I may want to revert and hence I just want to disable it so let's uh, preview again in Firefox save changes right okay so the borders are all gone the hovers are yellow and um, the hovers are dramatic because they, they kind of jump when I take the mouse over let's get back to Dreamweaver. Now this is just uh, a few more changes that I need to make now. I get on to the fourth rule which says dot according which is uh, the dot according panel content. Now this controls the content area right here this area this area here content 1 and content 2 area where uh, the text or the material the matter will go uh, hereafter. I need to control this area so I'll need to change I want a different background for this one I'll double click and I will say background I'll say browse and I'll I have a, a background ready which is a, a, a green colored background right this one say okay and say okay right this is what I want now uh, I think uh, that's all that I need I'll say preview and Firefox yes perfect exactly what I need uh, so what uh, we need to do now is I won't be showing it you can do it uh, anytime uh, instead of uh, content one you can add your own text you can add pictures you can add um, a video uh, and uh, s same uh, is true for the content two area but uh, the spry the structure is ready and uh, it's looking cool the colors are um, yellow green and black they they complement each other so I hope you learn something uh, people uh, this is Mohit signing off with the promise that I'll bring in at least one tutorial every day good day